Now let's talk about motion paths. The motion path is a visual guide to show how the position of our object is going to change over time, depending of course on the keys that we set. So the first thing I need to do is highlight my object and set some X and Y position keyframes at the beginning of our timeline and then move a little bit forward and set some more. You'll notice that we don't currently see any motion path. This is because we need to select our object in the timeline. As you can see, the motion path is a line with dots on it. The big dots represent the keyframes and the smaller dots in between represent the positional values of our object as they interpolate between the keyframes. If I move forward in the timeline and add additional keyframes, you can see that the motion path continues. If you don't want to see the motion path anymore, just deselect your object like that. And of course, if you want to see it again, just select your object in the timeline. When I press play, you'll see that the motion path disappears by default and you get a nice clean artboard. However, if you want to keep the motion path visible during playback, simply go up here, down here, and turn off show final playback. So now, when I press play, we can see the motion path. A good thing to remember that in all new projects, show final playback is on by default. So if you want to see bones, groups, or motion paths during playback, remember to turn this off. But like I said before, if you want a nice clean artboard, just keep this on, and then during playback, no more motion path. 